Oh, hi, and welcome back. Last time, we were testing out some very basic tools in Blockbench. Today, I'm going to take you into the Paint tab, and we are going to make a custom texture. Yes, our very own design for a cow. Welcome back into Blockbench. In order to texture a cow, we will have to open up a Minecraft skin project up here. Then we click on Create New Model. Next, we pick the model we want to put the texture onto. And what I will do is to pick from the list up here at the top, which you click, and then you'll be given all of these options. Scroll all the way down to where I see cow. There we go. Then I can change some of the other settings, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go straight to confirm so we can start painting our cow. Here we are. Welcome cow into Blockbench. Let's look at where we have the paint tools. Up here at the top, we find our brush tool. The brush is used to paint onto our model. So if I do this, I paint on my model. Then I have the paint bucket. And if I click with the paint bucket, it covers a part of the model. If I want to use the eraser, I have that here. The eraser will not erase the color and move it back to this. It will actually remove all of the colors so we get a completely hollow look. I generally don't recommend you use the eraser brush on the cow because the material the cow has will make that area turn black in game. I suggest you try it out on some other mobs to see if it works. And now let's take a look at the color picker. So the color picker allows us to pick any color on the model. Oh yeah, that's right, Cursor. Before we check out the color picker tool, let's move over to the color selector, this thing over here. If I click around in this field, I will pick up the color that is located near my cursor. And then to the right hand side here, if I click and drag in this bar, I will change which color is present here in the right hand upper corner. Let's say I want to go for a very sharp green. I will go and pick green up here and then pull it all the way to the upper right hand corner. Now I have green selected. If I then skip the color picker for a moment and go and use my paintbrush, I can now paint green onto my model. Now, let's take the color picker and instead of erasing this area, we'll paint it back to the red it was before. So we go to color picker, we click on this area here. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to paint with one of our paint tools. So I go back to brush again, and then click and drag and just paint all over these pixels. And that's how we do it. If you're on a computer device, you can actually hold the Alt key. The Alt key allows you to use the color picker as long as you're holding it. And the moment you let go, you get back to the brush again. And if you have selected the paint bucket and you hold Alt, it will select the color picker. And then as you let go, it will go back to paint bucket again. I suggest you play around with the other tools here up at the toolbar. But before I start painting my cow, I will show you two more tricks that are good to know. With the paintbrush, if I go up to here where it says 1, and I click on this arrow to the right hand side, I can increase the size of my paintbrush. So now when the size is at 3, you'll notice as I click and drag that the size is a lot bigger when I paint. The other thing I want to show you is the paint bucket over here. You can change these paint settings by clicking here next to where it says face on the tiny arrow. Then you have Element, for example. Element will paint the entire cube. If I click on the body, it will paint the entire body completely white. Below Element, we find connected colors. And that allows us to paint, for example, this red square right here. Or this red square out here. Or this red square right here. If I then would instead use colors, I could go and pick a blue color down here and paint both of the eyes at the same time, like that. But now I am going to texture the cow the way I want it to look. And if you want to follow along, well, please do. And if you feel like you want to step ahead and figure out how to put them into the game, I'll show that at the end of the video. To make things a bit easier, here down in the description somewhere, I have put links to two texture packs you can download, one for Bedrock Edition and one for Java Edition. And I'll tell you where to put the texture for our cow when we are done, so that you can actually see it in game. My cow is going to be a pretty standard cow. First, I'm going to use the paint bucket, then go over here, pick a brown color, which you find in around the orange area. So around here, then over down to the gray, we'll find a pretty good brown, as you can see up here. I'm now going to set this to element and then just click on all of the areas of the cow so it turns brown. I'll leave the others for now. And then I'm going to pick up a color for the horns. That will be something more towards bonish. And that's also usually a little bit more yellow. I think that's a good color. Select that, paint the horns. The others, hmm, they're pinkish, aren't they? So pinkish, down all the way to this more magenta red. Fairly far out, then just click. And there we go, that's very pink. 
That doesn't look too healthy if you ask me, so let's pick a slightly brighter one. I think that one blends a lot better with our design. Next, I'm going to add eyes. So, go up to the paintbrush, pick up white. Oh, yes, I forgot. I didn't change the size of my brush. Let's do that. Down to one. Now, I'm also going to be very lazy. And I'm going to turn on this. Mirror painting. So where you see this red grid appear, if I click that again, on and off, it's actually split the model in half. So if I paint with this active, you notice that it has a blue line underneath it. I can now paint on one side and it paints on the other side as well. That is very useful. Wow, this cow is coming along great. Now I want to figure out the face of the cow. Does it have a mouth? Look at that. That's a very happy capybara cow. Maybe I don't want a capybara cow. I want to have a more regular cow. Hmm, I wonder if I pick up the color the cow has by holding Alt. And then turning down to more gray dark color of the same color. That looks a bit creepy, but I kind of like it. Maybe I should change the way the eyes are looking. Hmm, at this point I'm not too certain. Maybe I should move the eyes further up. And you can do that. There is no right or wrong with the way you want to texture your cow. Copy their color and then paint that further up on the face, and then move the white as well, and then copy the color of the face, and then move that to the side. And I think that just fits the cow better. Now, there's a few more things I want to try out. If I remember correctly, cows have like clothes, don't they? So, we're going to pick a fairly dark color here, down on the gray scale, then paint at the bottom of the feet, like here, all the way around there, as well on here on this side, and yes, of course, paint bucket. Oh yeah, it's set to elements. Let's change that to face. Paint underneath. There we go. That'll work for us. And now we kind of have the black area at the bottom, or the dark gray, if you mind. The body is brown, the others are pink, the face has two nostrils and eyes, and the horns are bone colored. Now, of course, you can add more detail, but that's something we should look at in the next video. If you check out the link in the description, I have made a guide post over to our Spikea website, which you can go to and download two resource packs that contains the files you need to get started implementing your cow into the game for both Java and Bedrock Edition Minecraft. And it says everything else you need to know, literally scrolling on your screen right now. So if you want to, you can just pause and read. Or perhaps your parents will have to do it for you. And that just makes it more exciting, because it's always fun to create together. But that's everything for this video, and in the next video, we are going to continue working on a cow texture by polishing it and adding more details to it. Alright, I'll see you then!